When I started out as an artist, I thought that people bought my work because they liked it, they thought it was pretty, or they thought it would go nicely in their room. But that's not the reason they buy art. Most people, I think, buy it because it makes them feel something deeply emotional. And I can guarantee that that's why I bought the pieces of artwork that I bought. It really, it struck something deep inside. And now every time I look at that work, I feel the emotion again. And that's pretty cool, actually. So this week I'll share with you our little weekend trip to Belgium to pick up our Sophie T original paintings. C'est le nord. Regarde, c'est le nord et il fait très beau. C'est n'importe quoi quand ils disent qu'il fait moche dans le nord. Par contre, on a tué, on a tué des milliers de petites mouches. It took about four hours to drive along the coast from Normandy to the town of Newport in Belgium and it was a really nice little weekend, just me and my husband doing something a bit unusual, which was buying some original artworks, something we've never done before. We were surprised at how quickly everything changed once we crossed over the border uh, from France into Belgium. We thought that Belgium looked quite a lot like the UK, actually, and it sort of makes sense as it's only across the channel, really, from Dover. We wanted to see the paintings that we bought in person. We didn't feel comfortable um, relying on the owners to post them to us, uh, so we decided to make a weekend of it. And actually, we had a really lovely surprise because the, the people that we met gave us, basically gave us an artistic tour of the little holiday town in Belgium. They showed us all their favourite artworks and took us around an art gallery there and basically just gave us a lot of their time and told us about their personal art collection and it was just a really lovely uh, opportunity to meet some local people. It was great that we could get up close to this sculpture, but really the sculpture comes to life, they explained to us, when the tide comes in, because it's then surrounded by the waves and it looks really spectacular. We had a look at some art galleries along the coast and then we went to see a building that had been saved by a local artist called Ollie B. Um, he and a group of his friends painted the building to stop it from being knocked down because he wanted to save some areas at least of the coast from being covered in what is basically a long line of flats. I bet it put the value up as well, didn't it? Of course. You're quite happy if it belongs to you and you're now living in a work yeah. of art. <laughs> Someone's put like multicolored flowers in the window too. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of flowers they sell in summer. We then drove part of the way back and stopped off for a night in Boulogne-sur-Mer, which is such a cute little town near the sea in northern France, uh, which has a part of it that's up high on a hill and is completely walled in. And we stayed there in a little rooftop Airbnb. The next day on the way back, we stopped off in Deauville uh, to have a look around some more art galleries. I don't know, meeting these people, uh, meeting this Belgian couple, really inspired both of us to want to look at some more art and sort of try to understand it a little bit better. So what better place to go to than Deauville to look at art galleries? We drove in and had a little lunch there and talked to a, an art gallery owner who really wanted to sell us some paintings by uh, a long since dead painter. Um, we weren't tempted. I personally would rather have something by a living artist. I like the idea of investing in and supporting somebody who is still alive today. Here's some snaps of the Sophie T um, art that we bought. This is definitely not for everyone. It's uh, poor paintings. So basically she selected the colours and she mixed them with the right mediums in order to get them to flow across the canvas in the way that she kind of had in mind. Uh, but a lot of it is down to chance. So for me, I think they're beautiful, but 
I wonder what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you think this qualifies as art and if you're a fan of Sophie T or not at all. I'd be very interested to, to read your comments as well and see what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog about our trip along to Belgium. And if you're thinking of yourself about investing in some art, then I made a really useful video on the subject last week. So if you haven't watched that yet, then here's the link and I'll also link it in the description below. I did spend about three months researching the idea before I went ahead and bought some artwork. So I've shared everything that I've learned, all the research that I did and what, I, what information I picked up along the way. So hopefully that will help you too if you're looking to do the same. Take care, stay creative and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.